Curry's Heather Schlenker her talking today's DNA replication. You guys might be wondering what makes her credible for this. Well, one, her major is bio, and she hopes to specialize in genetics. talking to you guys about DNA replication. I'm first going to talk about how DNA is uh, prepared for replication, how it synthesizes, and then the antiparial elongation. And right. okay, so first, um, every DNA protein, every DNA strand has uh, a sequence of nucleotides. And on a certain nucleotide sequence, that will show where the DNA has to split for replication. So proteins will find this DNA sequence, and then slowly the DNA will separate to form a bubble because the two DNA strands will start to separate, and it happens in the middle of the strand. So each, as they separate, you get that bubble. And as it unwinds, the two strands to separate, the, hel the helase, which is an enzyme, is responsible for that bubble formation. And then as the DNA is separating, it adds a lot of stress and strain on each strand. So what happens is we need a tomato immerse, which then moves the DNA and twists it so then it becomes less stressed as it is separating. And then as the DNA is separating, uh, RNA uh, complement nucleotides will come to each nucleotide on the DNA strand because as the parent strands, which are the two old strands of DNA, are separating, the RNA nucleotide goes to that parent strand and gets the complementary nucleotide for each strand. As we synthesize the new DNA, the enzymes start to form new DNA strand called the daughter strand of the DNA as from the DNA as the RNA was going on to the complement strand. Um, this DNA strand will be the complement to that parent strand and be the new daughter strand. Then these proteins will form the new nucleotides which will be complementary to that parent strand to form the daughter strand. All right, antiparallel colonization is the most complicated part of this and it's the longest part because the DNA runs in a five to three prime fashion, which is just the way that it runs, but the new daughter strand comes and it's in the opposite way, which is three prime to five prime. So the three to five prime, which is the parent cell, is also called the leading strand. The leading strand only needs one enzyme to connect to the daughter cell, but the daughter cell, which is also called the lagging strand, needs another another enzyme to even connect the complete, the daughter strand completely together because the daughter strand will form ochazymic fragments, which basically means that only a certain amount of enzymes will uh, nucleotides will be forming. So an enzyme needs to form the gap between those short amount of enzyme strands. Then, which is done by the paramase one. The paramase three forms the uh, adult strand, the parent strand to the daughter strand and that forms them together. And this will form the whole entire DNA strand, and it will give you, um, and the new strand will then be formed with the daughter cell, which is complement to the parent cell as it was formed. And you need uh, paramese one to form it completely together, and uh, the parent and the daughter. And the ovamine fragments also need to be paired with the ligase, that just forms and solidifies the strand on the bond between each of the cells. Um, and in conclusion, I talked about the separation of DNA strands, the formation of the RNA, which is complements of the DNA, um, and I talked about the nucleotides that attach to it, and the fusion of DNA strands together. So does anyone have any questions? Yes? Um, is this used to like, replicate people? Or no, this DNA this, this is like just DNA thing. self in your in the, every one of your cells. This DNA replication happens. So, like for surgery and stuff, like no. muscle tissue, like you can regrow muscle tissue with DNA. DNA is part of that, but this is just more or less the replication in your cells that happens every day. Okay. So that was just it's a normal everyday thing that we do as like inside our bodies. Yeah. That's not like scientific. Like scientists don't like replicate DNA to like. How like the sheep, how they... Oh, yeah, that's, that's used. That's what I you're talking about. Well, yeah, no, that is used. This process is used. 
But I was talking about the one that just happens every day inside this. This oh, is just the normal process. Right. The process that you're talking about is like cloning and they have yeah, to right. copy I the that's what you were going on. Right. No, 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 I'm just talking about the replication of the stuff of the DNA. Okay. It's more of a natural process that goes on yeah. in the body. I thought she was talking about the Y process, mm -hmm. about the whole dolly sheet thing. No, 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 no. That's but good thinking, Gaiden. Good question.